In a deeply unsettling incident that has stirred outrage across Nova Scotia, a Halloween party held by a local firefighters club turned into a scene of public condemnation when attendees were spotted wearing costumes resembling members of the Ku Klux Klan. This has raised serious questions about racial sensitivity and accountability within community organizations. Deputy Fire Chief Wade Gowthrow issued a heartfelt apology on social media, expressing the fire department's sincere regret over the incident. He emphasized that the actions of those dressed in KKK attire do not reflect the values of the North Sydney community or the firefighters' dedication to public service. Gowthrow stated, We are very sorry from the bottom of our hearts and urged the community to forgive their oversight. He acknowledged the disappointment felt by many, affirming the commitment of local firefighters to serve and protect the community, and noting that their hearts are heavy with the realization that they have let the community down. Photographs and videos circulating online show several individuals at the event clad in long white robes and pointed hoods, with one person even carrying across a potent symbol of the KKK's long history of violence and hatred. This hate group, formed in the post-Civil War era, is infamous for its racially motivated violence, including lynchings and terror against marginalized communities. The Southern Poverty Law Center describes it as the oldest and most infamous of American hate groups, a label that adds weight to the outrage felt by many. The North Sydney Firefighters Club quickly distanced itself from the incident, asserting that the individuals in question are not associated with their organization. Their Facebook post condemned the actions, stating, these four individuals are in no way, shape, or form associated with our organization. However, the backlash has been swift and severe, with comments on social media calling the costumes blatant racism and stressing that such behavior should never have been tolerated. Fire Chief Lloyd McIntosh revealed that the unauthorized attendees were allowed entry by volunteers managing the door. He expressed regret that a mistake was made, acknowledging that the group should not have been admitted in the first place. When the nature of the costumes became clear, some volunteers attempted to intervene, asking the individuals to remove their hoods and relinquish the cross. The implications of this incident extend beyond social media outrage. They touch on systemic issues of racism and the responsibility of public organizations to create inclusive environments. The Provincial Office of Equity and Anti-Racism has condemned the actions, highlighting that such symbols of hate are damaging to the fabric of Nova Scotian society. They pointed out the legal requirement for municipalities to adopt anti-hate plans by 2025, signaling a commitment to address and combat hate in all its forms. As this story unfolds, it serves as a stark reminder of the importance of vigilance against racism and discrimination within our communities. The need for comprehensive education on the historical context of hate symbols, along with a commitment to fostering understanding and acceptance, has never been more pressing. In the face of this controversy, it is crucial for communities to come together to reflect on their values and take actionable steps toward creating a more inclusive society where everyone feels safe and respected. Stay subscribed for more videos.